we set out to find a better prescription for growth. And we wanted to look at companies who had a tough growth outlook, who faced stagnation or maybe turbulence in their customers or competitive set, and who nevertheless grew in the face of those odds. We looked for companies with that outlook who beat peers by 2x in revenue growth, who did it sustainably over five years or more, and who created value in that effort. We call these breakout growers and we learned a lot from them. The most important learning is that starting position matters. Where you are, where you stand, what you are, can suggest how you should grow, how much you should grow, and where you should grow. And we consider starting position in two ways. One is competitive premium. Is there something you do uniquely well versus your peers and to what extent? And the second is competitive stability. How turbulent, how much change do you face uh, in the markets that you serve? So one of the things that these breakout growers teach us is not just where we should deploy our growth investment, but also how to deliver that growth. First, um, there's a progression, there's a proper order of growth that they typically pursue. You could call it um, fix the business, shape the business, grow the business. Second, they set an aspiration that combines both measurement and motivation, and they show discipline in funding the few initiatives that matter most um, and resisting the temptation to water every flower. Valuable growth is possible. In virtually every sector, there are players who dramatically outperform in growth. The difference between the best and worst growers on average in a sector is five times greater than the difference in rates of growth across sectors. So you can play a winning game having been dealt almost any hand. And in observing these breakout growers, we found there are three typical groups of starting position. There are fortress players, there are fading players, and there are fluid players. And for each of them, there is a playbook that corresponds with value creating growth. It's about how much growth you can expect and whether it will create shareholder value. It is about the shape of growth across core, adjacent, and new frontiers. And it is about the disciplines and the how-to of growth, the six or seven points that despite the fact they had a different shape of growth investment, these breakout growers consistently demonstrated. These breakout growers prove that growth can be found and they teach us how.